So you discovered StarkNet and then you discovered this video, or maybe you found this video by just being one of the coolest people in the world. That means you're a Viruscoin subscriber. Today we're gonna be digging into StarkNet. It is a layer two scaling solution to Ethereum and much like Optimism and the OP token and Arbitrum and the ARB token, this blockchain will airdrop thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars, most likely, to its early users, especially because it's a little bit more difficult to get started. And emphasis, I'm serious. I mean, it's just a little bit more difficult, but that little step in difficulty, you'd be astonished how many people that will make fall off. My name is Vosk and I'm going to walk you through how to participate with StarkNet, how to get set up, how to get started, and basically what you need to do to become eligible for this incoming airdrop and some of the rising stars on this blockchain. It's early, it's real early. Pulling up StarkNet on DeFi Llama, which is basically a data aggregator, right? It helps us get details. We see that there is only a TVL, total value locked of three and a half million dollars. Okay, to put that into perspective, other chains, hundreds of millions, comparatively, if not more. There are just four dApps, decentralized applications that they notate here. There are more than that, just to kind of put this into perspective, but this is cool, this is exciting. Their mainnet just went live. So again, we're looking at StarkNet, right? StarkNet is a decentralized validity rollup, or you may be familiar with ZK rollup. It's a layer two network on top of Ethereum. It enables any app to achieve massive scale without compromising Ethereum's composability and security. Basically, it's a chain built on top of Ethereum. That's the gist of it. You cannot just plug and play, use MetaMask with it. And that's where most people will fall off. Argent has wallets, okay? You can use a Chrome extension. You can use a Mozilla Firefox extension. And remember, Chrome extensions work on Brave, which I'm using here today. This is Argent X. They also just have their Argent wallet, which is a straight app on the App Store and Google Play Store. I already created a very detailed guide on Argent X and how to get started. Uh, there will be some overlap with this video and that video, uh, but the gist is you literally just download this and pretty much good to go, right? Or you get Argent X, you add it and you're good to go. They don't even force you to write down your private key. They will just prompt you that you need to set up account recovery, which make sure you do because if you don't and you lose access, well then you lose it all. And it's gone. That's the crash course on that. If that's a little bit too fast for you, take a deep breath and watch our other video guide on that. So now our focus is getting some coin onto this chain. There is the official bridge, Stark Gate. Okay, Stark is a little hard to say compared to some crypto coins. So I connect Ethereum wallet, I connect StarkNet wallet. It detects my MetaMask, it detects my Argent X wallet here. Both of those are already set up and I've got a balance on both of those wallets. So if I wanna send over some Ethereum, like let's say 0.1, I'll put it in here and click transfer. I am going to try again to use Orbiter Finance to transfer this Ethereum. So let's go here and see, nope, still doesn't work. When I click over to V2, nothing land. Uh, I like Orbiter Finance as an alternative. Um, I've made some chain hops over there with cheaper fees, but I guess we'll just get Destroyed with Ethereum gas fees. Ooh, $8.30. That's a high percentage of the actual dollar amount we're moving. I'm sending 0.1 Ethereum, which right now is worth $183. Okay, and then let's talk about some very critical notes here. So when it comes to airdrop hunting, you want multiple days of activity, multiple months, right? Distinct months, like April, May, June, like not just you need 60 days, you need several days here, several days there, ideally, right? Okay, uh, you need to interact with more dApps, more smart contracts. So instead of just doing a bunch of trades on one decentralized exchange, it would be better to split that same quantity of trades across three, five, seven different decentralized exchanges. Sometimes adding liquidity is rewarded. Talk more about that. We can go ahead and mint some NFTs, 
we can get a name on the blockchain. I'll explain what that is. And there's even more things we can do. That's really what's next. Remember the first step is being able to participate. That's getting the wallet, getting it set up and getting some coin on chain. Starknet is powered by Ethereum. Remember, it's a layer two solution. It's built on top of ETH. So that ETH has been sent, right? So now let's go over to 10K swap. This is a decentralized exchange on Starknet. So let's say I want some USDT, right? So let's go ahead and put in 0 0.015 Ethereum, which should be about $25, $26 right now. And we're gonna swap that into USDT. Okay, so I'll click swap, I'll click confirm, it'll populate here. Starknet is, it's not that fast. This is their first iteration. It's the alpha version. Alpha comes before beta. Okay, uh, network fee. 69 cents, I mean, it's cheaper than Ethereum, but something, for example, like Arbitrum absolutely blows it out of the water with way better speed and way cheaper. But keep in mind that Arbitrum has been in the works much longer, it's much more refined. So just like that, I made a decentralized trade. You may also notice I have a wallet address up here uh, that isn't OX whatever, it's Voscoin.Stark. Stick with me, I'll explain what that is. And just remember that everyone that watched our ENS Ethereum name service video guide and followed along got the awesome ENS airdrop and well, they got a cool Ethereum identity. But I'm not just trying to pat myself on the back here. I'm trying to illustrate that these things are lucrative and I'm not the only one talking about them. Get in the game. It's fun. It's rewarding. It's engaging. EA Sports. It's in the game. We've got USDT. This is actually from a previous trade or other transaction here still pending. But I'm going to go ahead and add liquidity to 10K swap. So I just click max on the USDT I have. It grabs a, and a, a correlated uh, Ethereum amount. I confirm the supply, and then I'll need to confirm that it can interact with my tokens. I confirm the spend. I, I like this Argent X wallet. It's simple, defaulted to a dark theme. Maybe grab that from my uh, you know, default theme on uh, my computer here. It's simple, it's effective. It reads out what I need to know and want to know. Uh, transaction submitted, we will run through uh, reviewing transactions here on the block explore shortly as well uh, so that transaction needs to go through but just you know speed it up right so it'll go through and it'll say eth dash usdt uh, this is some liquidity i added for ethereum with usdc earlier so let's run through a couple more trades right so we've got our ethereum and we've got our usdc right and so we'll go we'll do that same 25 dollars trade we'll complete the swap here for usdc That'll populate. I actually already have some USDC in my wallet. Uh, so I'll go ahead and max that out and I'll add liquidity uh, to this decentralized exchange. Remember, when you add liquidity, you're putting your coins in this liquidity pool. You're putting your cryptocurrencies that you own in your wallet that you have full control and custody over into these smart contracts, right? If my swap or 10K swap blows up, see you later coins, they're probably gone. Sure, there could be a rug pull. There could also just be an exploit that happens. This is a new decentralized exchange on a new blockchain. It's risky. Don't put your life savings in here. Just make sure you understand that. Um, if I lost everything on this chain, I could recover. I hope that's not the case. I don't expect that to be the case. But again, be smart, be vigilant. And let's punch through another one real quick. So this time, let's go ahead and restore some of our Ethereum that we keep trading. Uh, so we'll go ahead and swap 25 die here uh, for 0.014 ETH. Um, and it failed. Do we have too many pending transactions or something wrong with Jedi swap? The other decentralized exchange listed here is Sith Swap with a whopping TVL of $5,000. You can certainly participate with that one if you'd like to do so. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of skip over that one. This is Stark Scan. This is a block explorer. This is critical information, right? Let's say I want to pull up uh, my wallet. So I open my wallet. I click right here on the wallet address and I can punch it in and it'll pull it up here on chain. So it's showing my Starknet ID. That's cool. Shows my ETH balance. We've got 10 transactions, right? We've got no account calls. Got 10. Uh, you know, simple, straightforward. Um, it lets me track and see what I'm doing. Just keep in mind that all this stuff is very slow right now. All the things I've recently been doing have either not gone through and then they take a while to populate here on the block explorer. 
Uh, so just understand that and be aware. I can click details and learn more about the transaction, what happened. Um, it's relatively technical data. It's not as easy to digest as some other block explorers. This one's pretty cool, and this is something you should really consider jumping on early if you, uh, you know, participate in StarkNet really to any degree, and that's going to be these .stark domains, right? ENS Ethereum name service, huge success. Something as simple as a name service like this or an ID service is just going to get a lot of support within the StarkNet community because it's just a great add-on. It flows and it adds to really every dApp right out there, every decentralized application. So you can punch in any username you want here, right? So I already grabbed BossCoin. Uh, so let's say I just want to grab Drew Bosk, right? So I punch in Drew Bosk and you know, I have no idea where this is going to be in five years. We can always re-up it. So let's just go ahead and mint this uh, for one year. We'll register that from layer two. Uh, you'll see that, and I, and I like that the way this is laid out in this wallet. We'll get plus one unknown NFT and we will be losing 0.009 ETH or about $15 worth of Ethereum. This will cost us 77 cents estimated with a max potential fee of $2.30 worth of Ethereum. I also really like that they have a system in place to verify these, uh, these smart contracts, right? So they verified that this is starknet.id. I'm in the right place, this is the app. Uh, the, the wallet is reassuring me I'm not on some scam site that's rugging me. That's always the fear in cryptocurrency. There's no customer support number to call. Uh, you do the wrong thing, well, and you pay the price. You click confirm and, and that's it. Uh, you wait a while, because again, this alpha chain has been slow. There's not too much going on with StarkNet, right? So if I put in, like say, the username I already have, it shows up as unavailable because I, well, I just registered it. Uh, you can see a little bit of information, you know, where it's going, and when it expires, I can see the owner identity. Uh, so this is the wonderful uh, profile picture generated for me. Lucky me. Scroll down. Got no identity tokens down here. We can see some activity and we can see, see more. And it'll pull it up on a an alternative block explorer, which would be Voyager.online. I think this one's actually a little bit easier to digest. I prefer Voyager Online as opposed to uh, StarkScan. But this has kind of showed up as it was either the first one or it's like the simple or it's associated with the team. It's it's the standard one. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see where all this goes. No big deal. But yeah, so that's the kind of gist on that. If you'd like to just go ahead and mint a identity, which is basically just a random picture, uh, you can come over here and I'll refresh it. And you can see uh, I've already minted two. Uh, so that's my actual StarkNet ID. And these are two identities I minted here. Minting is very easy, very simple. Um, it's very cheap. Uh, so all I'm paying here is the transaction fee. Uh, so somewhere between 24 and 71 cents. I'll go ahead and confirm that. And then uh, when I close out this video, we'll see, uh, <laughs> we'll see what I minted. Maybe it'll be a gem, maybe it won't. We've run through the majority of really getting started and participating with StarkNet. Here's another thing that has popped up. It's brick.construction sees the bricks of creation. Okay, all right. So they got their brick packs here, build, assemble. They've got some themes and collections and stuff like that. But when we just click on create, this is going to be the page uh, that it brings us to. And uh, so this is just a good old crypto GM, right? And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Boss Queen Green hex code, punch it in here, and I'll take the paint tool. Boop, 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 boop. One eternity later. And now I've got a green GM. I'm not gonna sit here and design an NFT all day and you know waste your time or anything like that. Um, this is cool, this is fun to play around with. I invite you to check it out yourself. I mean, there's no cost to really participate with it. But unfortunately, when I go to mint this, I don't have enough bricks. And their sets currently are sold out. So check it out if it intrigues you. There's also mintsquare.io, which has deployed an NFT marketplace on StarkNet, as well as ZK Sync, which you better check out our ZK Sync era video. I'm telling you. I think this was a really fun thumbnail we did. Uh, so I'll just make this an NFT. A few moments later. How's that not, what do you want? Guess we need a HTTPS. So we'll go ahead and mint that NFT. Timeout. I refuse to be in timeout. So we've connected. 
Uh, we got plus one NFT here. It's gonna cost a transaction fee, and now it's in the queue. And just like that, we minted an NFT, which is something you should do. One is a rite of passage with crypto. Two, it's fun. Three, make a collection and really get out there and pursue your dreams if you'd like to do so. Um, and at a minimum, mint it and uh, be on that airdrop hunt. Remember, this is what some people forget about: is the fact that you know we're hunting essentially the starknet airdrop and we're checking it out we're just see on the chain is i love this stuff it's fun i'm not here just for the airdrop but yes it is a key piece but also as we participate with all of these protocols we're becoming eligible for their future token airdrops too one token can really kickstart airdrops in an ecosystem remember yeah we're looking for the next ethereum the next arbitrum the next optimism yes sure but we're also looking for the next getcoin the next Uniswap, the next Sushi Swap, the next One Inch, right? The next lucrative cryptocurrency airdrop and really just a good protocol to use and be involved with. Yes, the Uniswap airdrop was so cool, but I enjoy using Uniswap more than the Uni airdrop. But maybe that's because I didn't farm it hard enough. Regardless, Starknet's got something going and that's cool. And no matter what, I got my name in the hat. I'm in the game, I'm participating, and I seriously implore you to do so as well. As always, this is not financial advice, right? But I am tuning in here from the Bosscoin YouTube channel, which of course is owned by our CSO. That's gonna be our chief StarkNet officer this week. That's gonna be Tails Vosk, the one and only Doge, the Shibi DB. I hope you subscribe. If uh, you do anything, please hit the thumbs up. It just lets me know you watched the video all the way through, and it's, it's fun, it's motivating. A lot of this content can get heavy. There's a lot of production behind the scenes uh, that people don't see. So if you like this stuff at all, please just let me know. Um, and if you have tips and advice on how I can improve it, I'm all ears. I don't think that we have a perfect craft here on the Boss Queen YouTube channel. There's always room to grow in really every aspect of life. So, hey, I appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. And uh, I'll see you later.